Zach, Dolphin Knights is coming out and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, man. DJ, I've literally done all the Robin Fighters house and Batman isn't even in the game. Allegedly. DJ, I knew it. I knew it. I should have waited. I should have waited. DJ, you know, maybe I shouldn't do anything. Maybe I should just let this one go. Just, just let it pass. Stop being dumb. What? Just the Batgirl. She's probably going to be the best character in the game and everyone's going to main her. Oh yeah, I haven't done her yet, I don't think, and she's probably going to have the most realistic body style anyway. Thanks, man. Yeah, whatever, man. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators and the super robot hat and welcome to the modern ninja. Now on my journey through all the different Bat family members and various versions of Batman, we finally have come to one of the staples of the Bat family. Barbara Gordon, aka the original Batgirl. Well I mean she's technically not the first one, but I mean in most canon she is. And I guess she wasn't always Batgirl, she was also Oracle, but that's, you know, because the Joker paralyzed her. We're not gonna get into that right now. I'm gonna just spare you the comic book origin right now because with her being one of the most famous comic book characters out there with over 50 years of history under her belt and appearing in enough movies, TV shows, video games, and other media to warrant a whole Wikipedia page just dedicated to her appearances. So I'm just gonna assume you're familiar with the character. In this video, we're gonna be going over the fighting style of an amalgamation of all the different Batgirls in media. So hopefully whichever Batgirl is your favorite, you see a sprinkle of them in this video. But if you want me to break down a specific one, just, you know, let me know in the comments and I got you. Barbara is a master martial artist of her own accord. Unlike the most of the Bat family and definitely all the Robins, she didn't originally learn from Batman. Obviously later on in her career, she definitely picked up some skills from the Bat, but originally she donned the cape and cowl on her own, which is pretty dope if you think about it. And when she did don the cape, she used the styles that she was able to learn in her area. Styles like boxing, judo, harness, and many other things that her father, Commissioner Gordon, definitely made her train sometimes. And when she donned that cowl, she was able to use styles like boxing, judo, harness, and any more styles that she could find in her area around Gotham. Because obviously she's not a rich billionaire that flies over the world learning how to beat up criminals. Yeah. Batman's got issues. But her intelligence truly shines through when you look at how she implements and combines these styles together. As a gymnast, she has incredibly powerful legs and impeccable balance, and she knows it. So she puts those skills to great use by focusing her combat on powerful kicks and throws. Her kicks are powerful enough to knock fully grown men to the ground, and her gymnastics background helps her perform some of the most high level kicks with ease. So if you're trying to learn how to fight like her, you're gonna wanna start with Taekwondo and Capoeira. Taekwondo will provide the ability to do more complex kicks, jumping and flipping, all while keeping control in the air, and Capoeira will allow you to add some incredibly powerful spinning kicks to your arsenal. It will teach you how to use and manipulate your body and momentum to knock down thugs left and right which is great because Barbara is not really the biggest person in the world so she has to use her body weight in order to be effective as a crime fighter and when it comes to tosses Barbara doesn't just pick up people and throw them around like a pro wrestler for obvious reasons again she's not this 300 pound six foot seven dude like she's not built like that but because of her intelligence and her training she's able to use her body and counterbalance techniques to toss people much much bigger and heavier than her. And so the next style you're gonna wanna learn is Aikido. This Japanese martial art focuses on using your momentum and body weight to easily throw people around. This will actually allow you to take the control of someone else's momentum for your own benefit, which is super cool. But next you're gonna wanna spec into Judo. Judo will specifically introduce hip tosses, joint locks, and submissions into your arsenal. This will give you an even bigger array of weapons to use for the people that you may be fighting that are bigger or stronger than you. 
you. As well as giving you a couple ways to subdue your target once you throw them to the ground. Now, obviously, every Bat Family member comes equipped with various gadgets and throwable items. That's kind of their whole bit, so we have to include it here. But the most common ones they use to hit that subscribe button. So, uh, make sure to smash it. But seriously, the most common one they use is, without a doubt, the batterings. They're seen used by basically every member of the Bat Family in every incarnation and version of them that we've ever seen. And I've said this before, batterings are basically just shuriken or throwing knives. You're gonna wanna spec into ninjutsu, specifically shuriken jutsu. This is essentially a general term meaning the art of throwing shuriken. And for obvious reasons, you're gonna wanna need to be able to do that. Can't really be a good crime father in Gotham and miss your battering throws. But that's not the only reason you should spec into ninjutsu. It will also give you training in unconventional warfare, guerrilla warfare, and espionage. All of which is incredibly useful for stalking your city as a Gotham Knight. Speaking of, Barbara is actually seen using Tanfas in the newest Bat Family game. For those that don't know, the Tanfa or T-Baton is a weapon best known for its use in Okinawan martial arts. Most often used by various law enforcement divisions all around the world. Which is kind of ironic considering it's being used currently by a vigilante. But definitely spec into Shotokan Karate or Kobuda, or really any type of Okinawan martial art that has Tanfa training. You, you don't really need a specific one as long as it has Tanfa training. Plus the extra general training really can't hurt either. And there we have it. For those of you not taking notes because I know there's probably a lot of you out there. Taekwondo and Capoeira for the kicks and body control. Aikido and Judo for the throws and momentum control. Ninjutsu for the batterings and strategies. And Shotokan Karate or some other Okinawan martial art for the tonfas. And when you mix that all together, you should be able to throw hands just like Batgirl. But who should I do next? You guys tell me down in the comments. And while you're there, check out the Patreon for some cool perks and benefits if you want to support the channel. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about Batman, or this one about Robin. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.